Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode of Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode we went through the Pokemon Mansion, I got mad at Raticates and we found the secret key so now we can finally go to the gym. Cause that is what the key is for. So here we go. Um, this gym is kind of unique in um, one way and uh, let's talk to this guy and see how it is. Yo champ in the making. The hot-headed Blaine is a fire Pokemon pro. Douse its spirits with water. We better take some burn heals too. Yeah, I don't know if we'll do that um, anyway. Yeah, Green has been here. He has defeated this place. Um, this is an interesting place. Uh, we have these machines here, which will give us a quiz. Get it right and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and face train. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. Here we go. Caterpie evolves into Metapod. Yes. Now, I do believe you can uh, challenge these trainers even so by just talking to them. And uh, that's what I will do because um, considering the Raticates in the last episode, we could possibly use a few more levels. So, hello. I was a thief. But I went straight as trainer. But even so, he's still a burglar class. Uh, so apparently he likes to dress up as his old profession. And um, yeah, that's kind of odd. Anyway, uh, like they said, this is a fire type gym and um, they actually have fire types in here. And like the poison type gym. So let's just take on this guy real quick. It shouldn't be much of a problem for us with our ground type and our water type and our fire type should help out too. And since he resists them and has some flying moves. Um, but that's about it uh, in this place. I don't think there are very many things we haven't seen in here because there aren't too many fire types around. Um, and what we will see new ones yet later so yeah. I don't think I need to show you too many of these battles. I'll go through them even so. But this one I don't think we've seen. It's Nine Tails. It is the evolution of Bulbix. And it is an interesting Pokemon. It likes to confuse and burn and stuff like that. It's kind of support and special attack based, I believe. Um, but it is a little bit strong for us right now, so yeah, that's why I want to defeat as many of these as possible. And uh, we'll still use Boomerang. Oh, Ember. That's not too bad, even though we got burned. Uh, but I think Boomerang should take you on even so, because you don't have much life left. Even if my attack got cut a little bit. So, um... I'll show all the quiz questions, I'll try to get them all right, they are not very difficult, but I will battle all the trains even so. So, let's move on. I don't think it matters if you step into their line of sight. Uh, you have to talk to them or get the question wrong for them to attack you. But, next question. I know this. So... There are nine certified Pokemon lead ba League badges. No. You are absolutely correct. Go on through. That we will do in a second after battling this guy. Do you know how hot Pokemon Fire Breath can get? No. And now I have defeated those two, so that should be fine and we can move on to the next room. It is fitting that we should be in this gym on this day though, because uh, this is a very warm day and I'm melting already, so I can uh, totally get into the mood of um, a fire type gym. Very, uh, very fitting indeed. Not very good though. Let's see. Poliwag evolves three times. No, it evolves two times. I don't believe there are any that evolve four times. My dear. So, uh, what do you have to say? I like using fire type Pokemon. I just do. No need to get so offensive about it or defensive. 
Eh, uh, Pokemon types are... no. Uh, fire types are cool. So, yeah. Um, what's the question this time, then? Are electric moves effective against ground type moves? No, ground type Pokemon. They are not. There are very many no answers here. So, yeah, that is nice. Anyway, I know why Blaine become a became a trainer. Oh, and he has a new Pokemon. Um, this one is Rapidash. It is very, very strong. And um, it is in a very high level. So hopefully we'll be able to beat it. It shouldn't be too defensive, but we might have to take it. Never mind. Um, prove me wrong and stuff with your critical hits, but uh, I don't mind. Give me lots of experience and then we'll move on. Ow. Sorry then. That was his only Pokemon. But uh, you're going to tell me why, since you know why. Our leader Blaine became lost in the mountains, but good. Night fell when a fiery bird Pokemon appeared. Its light allowed Blaine to find his way down safely. That is an interesting story, and it um, is a reference to something else in the game that we'll see eventually. But not right now. Now we have other matters to attend to, such as the quiz. And what is the question this time? It is... Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. That is true. They have different um, stats and uh, natures and stuff like that. Hello. I've been to many gyms, but this is the one that suits, best suits my style. And I'm not very good at reading today, sadly. Um, it must be in the temperature because I'm usually a little bit better than this, am I not? I think so at least, but I'm melting today. TM28 contains to tombstoney. It does not. There is no tombstoney um, TM at all. So yeah, that was a uh, very strange attack name. Hello, fire is weak against age two O. We'll leave you and your chemistry behind, especially since we've now reached the gym leader. He looks like a little puppy with that sprite. Um, his battle sprite does not look like a sad little puppy, but he does right there. Anyway, um, this is my current team now, and um, yeah, I think we'll just start off like this and see how it goes. He has some quiz machines in here. I don't think they actually say anything. No. But uh, let's challenge him. Ha! I am Blaine, the red hot leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Ha! You better have burn heal. I think I do. I don't think I'll need them. Hopefully not, at least. But he starts off with his Growlithe, which is stronger than any Growlithe we've seen before. And since it has Intimidate, um, we might have a little bit of a problem defeating it. Hopefully not too much. Let's see now. Yeah. Ooh. That was not too good. Um, missing against this one that can cut our HP in half right away, it's not too good. Sorry. You didn't stand a chance right there. It's too bad. But this guy should be able to manage, hopefully. Or else we'll have to go and get some backup strats. And uh, that uh, we want, want to. Such as revives. I don't like resorting to revives, but um, yeah, sometimes you have to. Excuse me. Um, but that was the first Pokemon. And I think Jetsu should be able to take him on just fine because he's pretty defensive and strong against them in every single way. So unless they have some strange tricks up their sleeve, and they shouldn't, 
we should be able to take him on just fine. So, uh, next up is Rapidash, uh, that should not be a problem either. We can just surf all over them. Even though they are pretty strong, this one might be pretty fast too, yeah. But uh, I think we should be able to survive. And it doesn't matter too much if we get burned since we're using special attacks. Um, that will be just fine too. So let's just keep on doing this. And as long as its um, HP doesn't cut too far down before we can finish it off, that's fine too. So he doesn't use any of his potions. I am very happy with this. Even though we lost Novell early on, Jester is making it just fine through this battle. I wouldn't say I'm displeased at all. And I lost one here, Arcanine is almost 10 levels above us. And that can be a problem. It's Intimidate shouldn't be much of a problem. Um, ooh. But um, that might be... Oh, wait a minute. That might have saved us. Okay. I believe this one has extreme speed, which should be able to take us out if it hit. We use it early on, but it didn't, and since it used takedown, it cut its HP just enough to make us able to take it out. Everything worked in my favor after a little bit. I have burned down to nothing, not even ashes remain. No, you're still a man. Don't be so dramatic. You have earned the volcano batch. Thank you. Ha! Huh. The volcano badge hate, uh, heightens the special stats of your Pokemon. Here you can have this too. And that is TM38, which is pretty good. It is Fire Blast. Fire Blast is the ultimate fire technique. Don't waste it on water Pokemon. I will not, but it's not the ultimate fire technique. It is very strong, but it's not the ultimate one. Um, that is reserved for something else that we will find in a little while, but not quite yet. Anyway, now that we have taken on this gym, we'll just leave and then there will be something else to do. Hello! Huh? Hey, if it isn't Anne. Look, it's me, Bill. Long time no see. I hope you're still using my PC system. Well, listen. Since we met up here, how about spending time with me? There's this little island in the far south called One Island. A friend invited me, so I'm on my way out there. How about it? Do you feel like coming with me? Ah, uh, sure, I guess. I don't have anything else to do right now. Alright then, let's go! And his boat appears on command. Looks like my po pal's boat arrived too. He sent it especially here to Sinbar to pick me up. So let's go and see what this is all about then. Here we are. Here we are, this is one island. There are several islands around here and this one is one of them. My friend Celio uh, sent the boat to fetch me here. He's in charge of the island's PC network by his lonesome. Why am I telling you this now? Let's go and see Celio. That we will do. You see a uh, water ice type Pokemon. That looks like a seal with moustache. Hey there, Celio! Bill, I can't believe you came out here. Well, absolutely. How's your research coming along? Oh, wait a sec. And this is my buddy Celio. He is one dedicated PC maniac. Celio, this is Anne, a rising champ contender as a rising contender as the Pokemon champ. <laughs> Sorry, that's really impressive. I hate to say it, but I have zero aptitude for battling. Anyway, I'm glad to meet you. So bring me up to speed. How's your machine running? It's running fine, but we're too remote out here. The PC on this island just can't link up with your PC, Will. Oh yeah! Okay, let me take a look. See? Hang on here, I think I can make it work. Let me help you, okay? 
And can I get you to wait for me just a bit? Actually, can I get you to do me a favor? The island next to this one is called Two Island. There's a guy there that runs a game corner. He has this thing for rare rocks and gems. We keep in touch being fellow maniacs. So can I get you to deliver this meteorite to him? That I believe you can do. And if you're going to Two Island, please take this. And we get a boat ticket. It's very nice. It's a pass for the ferry service serving the local islands. It will let you travel between island 1, 2 and 3. Oh, and you should have this too. An extra page for the milk carton. I'll catch you later. Say hi to the guy for me. That we will do, I believe. What are you guys doing? Hmm, how about we try it like this? I'm sorry for taking up so much of Bill's time. I'm also sorry for being such a poor host on your visit here. Well, never mind. I can go island exploring on my own. It should be fun. Anyway, there's the Pokemon Center here. And, um, we can heal our Pokemon here. But, um, there is something else though. If we go over here to the PC, I believe. The usual PC services aren't available. So we can't go and get any of our Pokemon in the PC. Which is partially why I wanted to give all of my current Pokemon team members um, an HM move. So we can go anywhere with those even if we don't have any of the other Pokemon that can do so. Anyway, I think that we should end this episode off here and in the next episode we are going island exploring, which should be fun after some little mishaps and a gym battle and stuff like that. So, um, thank you for watching this episode and until next time, see you and take care.